So visit hunkim.com slash asgamer, click on the second tutorial, you can download the source at the bottom of the page, and the idea in this space shooter tutorial is to make it move. Uh, where did they actually get this uh, key object.as? It's from synocular.com. They click on action script, um, action script 3.0, com synocular utils, and this is the keyboard object.as file that this tutorial is using. So we open up Flash, the, the second example, and if you go to properties, we recall that the document classes were the program begins so we open up our other AS files and we have the engine which basically creates a new ship and it passes a reference to the stage notice how the stage is a special variable it just basically uh, is built into flash and it refers to the fact that we're passing uh, we want to somehow connect the ship uh, instance to the uh, to the screen to the stage Okay, so let's uh, take a look at this. Um, let's take a look at the ship here. When you create a new ship, we're actually creating uh, an instance of the ship class. So let's go to the ship here, and we can see we have some new code. All right, the ship is a movie clip. Extends means it inherits all the functions of its parent. The parent being a movie clip, so the ship class automatically has all the functions and variables of the parent. All right, so let's um, just get a feel for what's going on here. So we have a variable called stage reference, stage ref, which is of type stage, and we have a variable called key, which is of type key object. Remember that key object is the actual class file that was made by Synocular. So I just opened up this folder here, the AS Gamer Basics 2. We have a com. AS Gamer and Basics 1. This is the same as our previous tutorial, but if I go back, we have another folder here called Synocular Utils Key Object. So this is where the file was saved. So recall we recall that we created a ship uh, object and we passed in the stage here. So the stage went into here, uh, this variable called stage ref. And now what's interesting here is that uh, we're saying that this, what is this? This refers to uh, the instance uh, of the ship class. This is a ship, so when the ship is actually created, we're talking about a particular one instance. That's the word this. So this dot stage ref, so stage ref is this variable here, uh, equals stage ref. Now this stage ref and this stage ref is different. Uh, when you're talking about uh, this stage ref, we're talking about uh, the variable uh, within the actual, that's passed in as an argument here to this constructor. Uh, now this might be a bit confusing. Uh, the fact that we wrote this dot stage ref, we know the difference. This dot stage ref is referring to this variable, whereas stage ref is just referring to the local copy here. Now theoretically you can just replace all this this variable with SSS, SSS, and then SSS and it would still work. But let's just leave it alone for now. And we have uh, key, referring to this variable here, equals new key object. So we're actually creating a real key object, which was, thanks to Synocular, we don't have to worry about it. But somehow, this is the variable name. So this variable contains all the power of this object. And uh, we want this to be able to control our keyboards, uh, connecting it back to our actual stage, because we want to control our spaceship on that stage. So we somehow pass in the reference it can be useful. This is all very hard to memorize and not ma many people memorize it unless they practice it a lot. So just as long as you get the gist of what's happening, don't stress out too much about memorizing things. We, we just try to figure out what's going on and, and you you modify the code to suit your purposes. We have add event listener and basically every time we enter the frame it's gonna loop. Let's not worry about these last three arguments. You can even delete them and, and the code will still work. So basically every frame we enter the loop function. And what does the loop function do? The loop function uh, somehow uh, returns nothing. So this again is optional. Void means the function returns nothing. We'll, we'll just uh, get a gist of what's going on here. Um, if key 
dot is down. Remember, the variable key came from up here, this key object. So if I say if key dot, and you can see Flash automatically tries to give you a hint as to what kind of functions we have available. But we'll just go with the flow and use this. If the key is down, and then this is all blue, so this is built into Flash, keyboard.left refers to the fact that you press the left button. Uh, somehow, if the left button is down, we're going to decrease the X position by 2 pixels. So the X is also blue, and so is Y. So these are special reserved variables, and or actually variables or properties of uh, the uh, movie clip. You can see ship is a movie clip, so this particular movie clip's X position is going to decrease or move left by 2 pixels. When you say minus equals 2, it's going to be the same as saying x equals x minus 2. Exact same thing, except it's a bit shorter. x equals x plus 2, y equals y minus 2. If you push up, and if you push down, y equals y plus 2. So hopefully you got a feel for what's going on here. When I press Control enter and I actually run this, uh, it's, it's amazing to see that you can actually control your characters and we're just uh, leveling up here and hopefully you have some power um, you'll have some uh, power to move whatever movie clip you want and uh, this we're making some good progress here keep up the good work